Hi, I'm Jane from Amazon Web Services. Today I'm going to walk you through how to use AWS Glue to create an ETL job to transform data from one format to another. AWS Glue is a fully managed ETL, Extract, Transform, and Load service that makes it simple and cost effective to categorize your data, clean it, enrich it, and move it reliably between various data stores. It infers the schema of your semi-structured and structured data. Glue will help you understand your data, suggest transformations, and generate ETL code in Python so that you spend less time hand coding. You can modify this code using your favorite IDE or notebook. Once your ETL job is ready, you can schedule it using Glue's flexible scheduler with dependency resolution, job monitoring, and alerting. Glue runs your jobs on a serverless Spark platform, automatically provisioning the resources you need behind the scenes. You pay only for the resources you consume while your jobs are running. Now, let's look at an example. Assume that I'm a data scientist for an airline, and I want to analyze flight data to determine the popularity of various airports. In our video on how to get started with Glue Data Catalog, I explain how Glue automatically infers the data format, schema, and partitions of this flight data, and creates a corresponding table, Flights CSV, in the Glue Data Catalog. You can find a link to that video in the description section below. In this video, I'm going to focus on how Glue suggests transformations and generates ETL code to convert flight data from CSV to Parquet format. Let's get started by logging into the AWS Management Console and navigate to Glue. First, I'm going to create a job. I'll name it Flights Conversion. I'll pick the Glue IAM role for the job. This role provides the job with permissions to access the data stores it reads from and writes to. Glue can automatically generate an ETL script based on the source and target I select for this job. This script is entirely customizable. When I create an ETL job, I can ask Glue to propose a script to get started, which is the default option. However, I also have the option to use an existing PySpark script or start creating one from scratch. I'm going to pick the Amazon S3 path where the script will be stored and a temporary directory where intermediate results are written. Next, let's pick the data source, the flight's CSV table. And now the data target. I can either ask Glue to create a new table by selecting a target location, for example, an S3, RDS, or Redshift destination, or select a target table that already exists in the Glue data catalog. I'm going to select an S3 target location and the format for the results, Parquet. I'll specify the S3 path where I want the results to be created. Next, I can specify column mappings from source to target. The default mapping is a simple copy in this case, as my target location doesn't exist yet. I can choose to modify my target schema. I'm going to drop three columns from the target table that correspond to airport gate return information, data that does not concern my analysis. Now let's review the job parameters and create the ETL job. The job has been created, and here I can see the proposed script and a corresponding diagram to help visualize the script. The source will be transformed to the target with the help of two transforms, apply mapping and drop null fields. Apply mapping transform will apply the source to target column mapping I had earlier specified. Now let's run the job. I can optionally pass runtime parameters to this job, and that's it. There are no resources to configure or manage. Glue automatically provisions the resources required to run this job. The job is now running, and I can see log entries as the job runs here. While this job runs, let me show you some features of the script editor. I can see the schema of tables on the schema tab. After the job completes running, I can see statistics on rows read and written at each node of the diagram over here. As you can see, this is a PySpark script that is entirely editable. I can add and customize new transforms, sources, targets, or other logic. To add a new transform, source, or target, all I need to do is place my cursor in the code where I want to insert the corresponding script template and click on the template I'm interested in. For example, if I want to rename the fields in the target table, I can place my cursor in the right location on the script and click on the corresponding transform template option. As you can see, I clicked on the rename field transform and the corresponding code snippet was inserted in the code. Now I need to customize the parameters of this snippet. 
I'm going to rename one of the target columns from year to year new. I've also modified the input parameters of the target S3 location to consume the output of the rename field transform. I've filled in the parameters for the annotations in the template and I can regenerate the diagram. I can also add my own PySpark code and import custom libraries into the script. If I want a more interactive environment to edit these scripts, I can simply connect a Spark notebook or an IDE to Glue's development endpoint. You can refer to our documentation for more information on this. For each job, I can see a history of all the job runs. Let's check on our job. It looks like it's done. Now let's go see the results in S3. As you can see, the output files are written in the Parquet format and can be readily queried from Amazon Athena or Amazon Redshift Spectrum. Now that I've created and run this job once, I can attach triggers to it to run it on a schedule on completion of other jobs or invoke it on demand from a Lambda function. In this video, we've seen how Glue makes it easy to generate and run your ETL jobs. Thanks for watching.